caught up in love, but I ain't born with that. I can't get caught up in love, so now I'm, yeah. I'm assuming I think it's 10 o'clock at night. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to check the time when I get done with this, or oh, it really don't matter. I'm about to get in the bed. But y'all, I really want to make this video for this perfume plus because I really want to A, wear it, try it out. B, I'm just in the mood to make a video. Period. Like, even though I am literally breaking out, y'all, I am breaking out. I'm about to come on my lady time. Y'all know what that is. Y'all know what it is. And I always break out and I always freaking pop my pimples. Like a maniac, um, my pimples because I hate having many volcanoes on my damn face. I really need to find something like like little patches for pimples. So if y'all have any recommendations of acne patches for pimples, please comment below. Help help your girl out. You know what I'm saying? So I can stop popping my pimples. I just I can't. Real quick, briefly on this perfume. I was in Ulta the other day with my sister, and they literally every Ulta I've been, I have been in, I'm telling you, like they pretty much have this Billie Eilish perfume right in the front for you to try out. I don't know if like it's just her team trying to get some promotion going on because I did hear it was sold out when it first initially uh, came out. But either way it goes, this is literally always in front of the store. You cannot miss it. Sidebar, I am still, I feel like I am still gonna get it just because, like the full bottle, just because. I love the bottle. It's gold, as y'all seen in the thumbnail. And I also put it right here. It's like a gold half a face with the, you know what I'm saying, with the with the features of the girls up top. I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me pro woman. I don't know why, but it's just giving me pro woman, like a female empowerment type of thing. I don't know why, but that's the vibe I'm getting from some, like I said. And I sprayed it on my wrist. And the, um, the first smell, I feel like I didn't really catch it. But then, like, later on, as we was going throughout the day, I didn't spray a lot. I only sprayed a little bit. I still smell it on my wrist. Plus, my sisters like the smell as well. So, I can't remember verbatim how great it was. So, we're just going to go and get into it. Like I had said on my community page, comment below of what perfume you want me to review. Either way it goes, I'm going to, like, go throughout the little sample and see what I'm gonna review or whatever because it's some that I already like had on my wish list and whatever blah 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 and on top of that when you get the Ulta perfume sampler it also come with a $15 off one of those perfumes in that sampler so we're just gonna see what I'm gonna use it on I'm probably gonna use it on this Billie Eilish perfume as a full bottle but we are gonna go ahead and get into it see what it's giving plus like I said, I'm going to sleep after this. I'm about to lay down and we're going to see if it works good throughout the night. I do want to update the uh, Kayali perfume, the vanilla one. When I layered it all together, literally the next day in the morning, I smelled this still on my skin. So that's some good ass perfume. It had me choking at first, but <laughs> it's some good perfume as far as longevity. Okay, not my top, not my go to right now because we in the spring going towards the summer i feel like it's not really that anyway th this is not about kayali vanilla 28 if you haven't seen that video review go ahead click on my page might, might as well subscribe might as well you know what i'm saying and you know check that video out. but let's just go and get into this billy eilish perfume so y'all i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen i did not look up the notes i did not look up the course but we gonna Put them right there so y'all can see y'all get into it i love to blind buy things i don't like looking at um different notes of the perfume and stuff like that because i feel like it's not fun like that and i also feel like it's giving christmas present okay because you don't know what you're expecting and you just buy something and you're gonna you know what i'm saying either fall in love with it hate it or midway like it midway hate it either way it go um that's how i do my perfumes over here on this side so we're gonna go ahead and get into spraying it on our wrist which i'm gonna end up spraying it all over my body anyway because all i'm doing is this and oil tonight just because i want to see how it lasts on my skin and how it performs on my skin Okay, so now first spray, and I even y'all even see me doing this first spray is giving me, which I know another girl has said in her video, 
I did watch a video pertaining to this perfume as well. But um, she said it gave metallic, and I'm definitely get it's definitely giving metallic off that initial spray, which I feel like I spray I felt that that way in the store and also when I sprayed it as well. But when it dries down longer, it smells different. So that's the like, that's one of the downfalls that I do have with this perfume. It's given like, the transition is crazy. Like the transition is unexpected, okay? Like when you first spray this on your skin, you it's gonna give pretty much um, aluminum foil type. Like if you can smell aluminum foil, which you can't really, you can't smell aluminum foil. But if you was in a factory of the, whoever be making an aluminum foil, I feel like that's what it would smell like. Like it's giving that. But like I said, it dries down more, it warms up to your skin. And it's giving me a nice, creamy, vanilla scent. Like, honestly, it's giving me like a real smooth, like, just imagine a vanilla buttercream on a cake. Like, it's giving me that type of energy. It's just, I don't know, like for me, it's giving me sugary, warm, smelling scent. Let me see what else I can um, try to pick up. I want to say it's like a hint of some kind of fresh flower in this. I hope I'm not wrong, and if I am wrong, okay, like I said, we always blind by over here. But it's giving me like a vanilla fresh flower type scent. Like if it was all mixed in one, it's like a fresh flower vanilla scent. <sighs> I feel like season-wise, I feel like you can, it's a pass to where it is. I want to say it's the past where it's throughout, like throughout every season, summer, winter, fall, spring. I feel like it's a past just because it got that fresh flower type scent to it and then it's the vanilla and you know of course vanilla when it's warm, it just, it, it meshes so well with your skin. <sighs> I really do like this scent. Let me spray a little bit more on my body. Like I said, I need to get the oil going baby. I said my biggest downfall is the fact that it starts off with that metallic type smell, which is weird. Like it's weird. Like I, I, if they can like, you know, you know how Ariana Grande got the 2.0 and everything. If they can do like a Billie Eilish Eilish perfume uh, intense or something, if they can take out whatever that is that make the first initial smell metallic, this will be a heavy hitter. Like in real life. I'm not the biggest vanilla fan when it comes to perfumes, but I do love vanillas. Like I told y'all, I do love my Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secret. It's not a perfume, but it's a body mist, but I still love that. But if they can just take out whatever that is that's making it smell like a metallic whatever, then this will be like A1 for real. Like it's low key giving me, and I know y'all probably won't look at me sideways, it's low key giving me low key it's low key giving me um what is it what is it girl i just know my train of damn thought what is it not daisy uh not mark jacobs daisy it's giving me what is the name of it you know what i'm not even gonna play with myself when i think of it which I am when I get done with this video. I'm gonna edit it and put it in here. It's giving me this perfume. It's giving me this mixed with vanilla and I kid you not, this is what I'm smelling. Like, I don't know, everybody got their own nose. <laughs> everybody got their own smells. But it's giving me that mixed with vanilla. Like, we just gonna mix that all together. It's giving me this combination. Like, which I'm not mad at. I'm not gonna give it a 12 out of 10 because I would, like, it's not horrible, but it's not like amazing, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I said, I think I'm partially not like the biggest fan of vanilla. I can do vanilla, I don't mind vanilla. I'm not a hater of vanilla. But with this perfume, I really, really wanted more. I don't know what I wanted more of. I think I'm basing it off the bottle because the bottle was giving me Grammy award. Like it's giving me Grammy night out type like you just the best smelling girl in the room. But for me, if I'm ready for one to 10, I give it a 7.5 because it's not that horrible. 
But like I said, if the first initial spray was different, if the dry down was a little bit more pale, like in your face, don't play with her, like, then I'll give it a high rating. But for now, I'm giving it a 7.5. So if y'all like my review of this Baby Eyelash Perfume, like, subscribe, comment. Comment your favorite emoji. If you're not that type of girl, like the, vi like the video. Because I know some people don't like to comment or be that type of subscriber. But I do appreciate y'all coming to my channel and checking out my review. Okay, girl? And I'm going to do more re reviews on this channel. Period. Period.